In opposing D.C. statehood, these representatives and their dark money backers over the Heritage Foundation, that's right, are telling over 700,000 Americans to sit down, shut up, and enjoy this authoritarian system implemented by a bunch of elites who thought it was okay to enslave people for their selfish monetary gain hundreds of years ago. As the fight over statehood for the District of Columbia heats up on Capitol Hill, proponents of the idea, like progressive Michigan Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, are taking the opportunity to voice what sounds like trashing the United States, a sentiment on the left that has the Wall Street Journal's Gerard Baker asking, how can a nation prevail in an ideological struggle when its leaders believe its values are evil? Let's bring in Republican Congressman from Ohio, Jim Jordan, to get his reaction on what we just heard. Welcome back, Congressman. Good to be with you. So this is a, a big fight. Obviously, D.C. statehood would mean a lot of things, but uh, the thing that most of the members of both parties are worried about uh, or happy about, if you're a Democrat, is that it would probably mean two Democratic senators for good added to the Senate. Uh, and yet your uh, colleague there from the other side of the aisle says basically it's about oppressing people. Uh, and if you're against D.C. statehood, what does that say about you? Well, not probably, Shannon. It would definitely mean two D.C. Uh, uh, senators uh, for the Democrats, uh, and that's why they want to do it. You, you know, look, look uh, our, our colleague calls us names, but we actually want to follow the Constitution. You shouldn't be called names because of the Constitution. The Constitution is clear. You can't do this. You have to have a federal district as under the Constitution. If you want to change that, then amend the Constitution. I mean, th th that's pretty simple. This is about, this is unconstitutional. The American people don't support it. And this is driven by pure partisan politics because they know, they know for sure that if they get D.C. statehood, that's two more Democrat senators in the United States Senate. And uh, that's, that's their objective here. It's all about political power. I mean, remember, these are the same people who are pushing everything through the House right now on a total partisan basis. Over the last four weeks, they have radically changed election law, radically changed police law, radically changed gun law. And last week, while there's a crisis on the border, they radically changed immigration law and gave amnesty to three million illegals. So it's about politics, raw political power, and it should be about the Constitution. The president talked about unity and bipartisanship. In fact, some on the left criticized him, saying, we don't want to hear about bipartisanship. If you win, we want Democrats to get everything they want. Here's what he said, I believe this is today, about working together. When we work together, we can do big things, important things, necessary things. We saw it 11 years ago with the Affordable Care Act. We saw it 11 days ago when we marked the signing of the American Rescue Plan. But we're not done yet. And, Congressman, I actually found that to be a confusing statement because of both of those major, yeah. massive pieces of legislation passed without a single Republican vote. Is that how he plans to get yeah, everything and done? Yeah, and one of them had two Democrats in the House vote with us against the $1.9 trillion so-called COVID package, even though 91 percent of it wasn't for COVID. So, yeah, I don't know how that's working together. If, if, if the Biden administration wants to work together to reinstitute the, the, the measures the Trump administration had to secure our border, well, I'm all for that. If they want to work with us and make sure we don't raise taxes, I'm all for that. And frankly, if they want to work with us to start to get a handle on this ridiculous out-of-control spending, uh, I'm, I'm all for that as well. But I don't think that's what the left wants to do. Joe Biden campaigned as Mr. You know, Mr. Moderate, the guy who was low-key and everything. But now we see what he's really like as he's been in power. All the things they have passed in a partisan fashion that are radical left pieces of, of, of legislation. Um, Look, it'd be good for the country, frankly, if we could work together, but I just don't see how you can do that with, with this crowd who wants to make the radical changes they're making and who want to cancel any Republican who speaks out against them. It's tough to work with, uh, with folks like that.